Hello, my name is Megan from St. Louis Public Library, and this is Megan Makes Things. Today, we are going to watch while I assemble our outstanding June craft, and listen while I tell you about an amazing book you can pair with it. If you're ready, let's pull back that curtain and get started. As any director will tell you, the first step to putting on a show is to find your venue and cast your actors. You will do so by going to any St. Louis Public Library location and picking up a Take and Make kit. Inside your bag, you will find two file folders, your stage, two sheets of colored paper for your curtains and your set, two coloring sheets of characters, your actors, and four craft sticks, your equipment. From your supplies at home, you'll want to make sure that you have a black marker, a pen or a pencil, a ruler, some scissors, and some tape or glue. Now that you have everything assembled, it's time for rehearsals. In show business, rehearsals are the time when actors are getting fitted for their costumes, when they're practicing their lines, and when crew is building all the sets. For your puppet show, rehearsals will be when you are coloring in all of your characters and deciding what they can wear, cutting them out, and gluing them down to your craft sticks. You can also use tape if you'd prefer. And that way, they'll be ready to hold up to your stage. For your next step, it's time to build your stage. Take one of your file folders, your ruler, and your black marker, pen, or pencil, and measure with your ruler seven inches away from the edge of your folder. So as you can see, seven inches is here, and I'm going to draw a line from the end all the way to the seven. You'll want to make sure that you leave a little bit at the top as a border. So as you can see, I left a little bit at the top and I used my ruler to draw a straight line that was seven inches away from the edge. Next, we're going to turn our ruler up and down. This is called vertical. Go to the end of our line, hold up our ruler, measure five inches down, and draw a line to that five. So we'll draw a line from here all the way to five inches down. We're almost done with our window on this one. Next, we're going to draw another line seven inches from the edge that connects the edge to our vertical line. And if your file folder is not even, so as you can see, I've got this piece sticking out, just go to the end of this line. If it's not seven inches, that's okay. So I've completed my line from the end of the five inch line to the edge of my folder. As you can see, it's parallel to this one. Parallel means two lines that are running the same way. Then I will take my scissors 
and I'm going to cut out this window. This is going to be half of our stage. The other half will be on our other file folder where you'll do the exact same thing. have a window. Once you have a window in both of your file folders, we'll tape them together to make our full stage. And you can adjust the size of your stage if you would like. If you want it to be smaller, then you can have it have a lot of overlap and glue or tape it here. If you want it to be wider, you can pull them a little bit apart and glue or tape it like this. I think I want mine to be a bit of a wider stage so that more of my characters can be on it at the same time. So I'm only going to give it a little bit of overlap. And I will tape it right here at the top. Take another piece of tape and tape these bottom pieces together. And now we have a stage. Use your sheets of colored paper to make curtains a colorful stage floor, you can use it to cut out shapes and glue them around the border, or you can use coloring supplies and color around the sides of your stage. I'm going to use my green one and make some green stage curtains. to take some tape and tape it to the top of my stage just like that so see it looks like it's tied right here and then I'm going to tape it again at the bottom. And now I'll take my other curtain to the other side. And here is my stage. It's framed by my two curtains. They're tied to the side here. And with my other sheet of paper, I can add even more decoration. Now your stage is all ready for you to put on a show. Places, everyone. Take your characters, hold them up behind the stage, and they'll be ready for the spotlight. You can use familiar characters to tell stories you might already know, like Jack and the Beanstalk, or you can mix and mash and make up your own adventures to send them on. For even more crafts you can build out of supplies you've got at home, Gemma Westing has got your back with her book, Out of the Box. 
this book will have you making easy and hard projects all out of cardboard boxes. Her easy ideas will have you building things like monster masks and flower decorations, while her harder ones will have you making a robot friend, a cardboard race car, and even a pirate ship. She also includes templates in the back that you can scan and take home to keep you inspired even after you've turned it back in. If this sounds like your idea of a good time, be sure to check out Out of the Box by Gemma Westing, located in our children's nonfiction collection. It's June, which means it's my favorite time of year, Summer Challenge. Pick up a Summer Challenge flyer at your favorite library location or go to the Kids and Teens page of slpl.org and sign up on Feedstack to start tracking your reads. If you read Out of the Box by Gemma Westing, be sure to enter it into your tracker and you'll be one step closer to the finish line. And in the meantime, happy reading and happy crafting!